Hey fellow Terrarians and welcome back to our mage series. Alright, so exciting, the exciting day has come. Okay, it's scary, it's thrilling, but we're gonna do it, we're gonna try. Okay, so Duke Fishron, before any other hard mode boss, that's the rule for this, for this particular challenge. And I know you could probably say that's not that's not uh, the most efficient way to go about it and you know it's easy to kill one of the max then gear up get the um, hallowed armor and get better weapons and potentially you know make it easier but you know what when there is no challenge there is no fun right so and this is and this challenge is actually quite interesting okay so we need wings of course so for this particular playthrough I'd like to get the harpy's wing harpy wings uh, because um, I mean, they are one of the best at this point, of course, right? So, and since we can't really farm Queen Slime, so we can't get the developer wings, which would be much better, well, not much, but better than Harpy wings. The, on the only other good, uh, two alternatives that we have at this point would be to get the Angler's wings, the Fin wings. Oh, by the way, look at this, the first Wyvern. These are scary. Okay, so I need to be very careful, but we... We will take care of this, I think. Okay, just need to be very careful here not to get hit. Because I think it can two-shot you pretty much at this point in master mode. So I need to be extremely, extremely careful. Okay, so yes, yeah, so uh, fin wings that are obtained from the angler as a reward. Fishing quest, oh, look at this tail touch and like 100 damage. Okay, so and the another pair of wings that you can get would be the frozen wings that you need for that is a, a frozen feather that drops from ice golems, right? So for that we need rain and we need to be in uh, in a snow biome. Okay, so but you know what? Let's try to get the harpy wings. So the giant feather, giant harpy feather, has a very low chance uh, to be obtained from harpies, of course. And there is one in 200, guys. So, I mean, I'm not expecting to be super lucky here, so... But hopefully we'll get it. So it's been a while, we're at 40 Harpies at the moment, so no no Feather, of course. And let's keep going. And let's keep farming. So obviously we're getting a lot of souls of flight in the process, which we also need, because, yeah, well, you know, if we are to craft advanced wings in the process in the future, we will need those as well. So harp, uh, harpies and wyverns are both needed for this playthrough, and we're already at at 50 plus. Oh, look at this! That was close. Another vi wyvern, and we are getting there. We're getting there, guys. We're getting close. But this is not as challenging and as exciting as the fight that awaits us after this. After beating. You know, I would probably be more comfortable beating 300 wyverns and obviously deathless than facing Duke Fishron once. <laughs> so yeah, Duke Fishron is my uh, main nemesis, I guess, in this in this game because to this day I do not fully like uh, to be pigeonholed in a particular pattern. And I try to play randomly, and that's just my way. And Duke Fishron is not really uh, forgiven in any way. So he can pretty much two shot you in master mode. Oh, yeah, we got giant harpy feather, guys, we're there. Okay, so let's go. Let's finish off this wyvern and let's craft the wings. Okay, no more delays, guys. The day has come. Okay, wings us harpy okay so we need to reroll it obviously we need menacing and so let's go let's do it uh, and it is getting there guys it is we're ready fully ready for this fight I think well I mean not really ready but we're geared as much as we can for this fight pre boss pretty much okay so uh, I'm getting nervous but also excited and Okay, let's just quickly re-roll the wings. Let's get the menacing. Now, yes, menacing. Yes, that's good. That's perfect. Finally, we're upgrading our, our fledgling wings. 
Okay, so at this point we have some decent mobility. We have two additional mobility accessories, that's amphibian boots and uh, balloon. So obviously uh, together that should be okay, I think. I don't wanna add another one. I could add a frog leg for a fa faster jump and faster acceleration uh, for vertical, right, movement. But you know what? I think we're good think we should be we should be okay with all the extra buffs so uh, the main main damage boosters at this point would be um, the food item that gives us exquisite exquisitely stuffed buff which gives 10% extra damage and I think 5% extra crit chance so the um, magic potion the mana uh, not magic damage potion and the also the crystal right so everything gives us a little bit of extra okay you know what guys no more delays let's just go for it who duke fishron pre-boss let's do it okay so the first phase if we don't do make too many mistakes should be relatively okay now one thing i find disappointing is that the potion inferno potion unfortunately no longer protects you from those bubbles that he shoots or maybe it's just because it's master mode but those bubbles can penetrate through and occasionally hit you so that is so that potion is no longer as useful as I thought it would be so maybe in the future just drop it because it's also confusing it makes it more difficult to see what you're doing and um, yeah time your your movement so maybe it's yeah could actually play against you in the end so so far so good we don't get too many hits well actually no hits yet now I have to say this that if I were to do a hardcore master mode playthrough I would not fight Duke Fishron pre-mech I would at least get one of the mechanical bosses maybe the destroyer first and then get full life that is 600 with the life por potion life force potion and also I would get hallowed armor set before in better wings of course before even trying okay so that would allow you to get hit two times and still survive so that is you can always bail out right so we're at half-life by the way guys Duke Fishron is down to to half-life but I'm not worried yet of course it's the final phase that is the most damaging and in, in my opinion the third phase you need to be extremely disciplined and extremely precise in your motion movement okay so um, as long as we don't get hit too many times I think you know if we could reach phase three uh, without getting any hits but I doubt it oh yeah there you go I see those bubbles okay no that was unfortunate well we're getting there guys and again uh, as if you notice the, 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 the reason arena is so the arena is so big is in two levels of course is because I'm trying to always stay either directly below or directly above the tornadoes oh phase three guys hold on hold on oh that's close that's close no no oh got hit Okay, keep going, keep going, keep moving. Mm, yeah, that's that's not good. Okay, so at this point in hardcore, I would bail out, but it's too late now. <laughs> okay, you know what? It was close. It was not bad at all for a first try. I would say it's decent. Okay, so you know what? Let's keep going. I feel I feel po positive. We can do it. It's not impossible. It's not. It's totally doable. Okay, so I mean. Again, the idea is not to make too many mistakes like this, getting bubbled pretty much, so, oh, and, yeah. And again, so, if, if note to self, if playing in hardcore, right, so at this point you just bail out. Like this, this would be unacceptable to get to this level. Because at this state you're, you're pretty much one, one shot, right, so get one shot and, and rip. So that would not be good. Okay, so bail out. So essentially, this is what I would do in hardcore. Get hit twice, bail out. Uh, and obviously have more life. So I mean, but let's go back. Let's try again. Okay, so we're not in hardcore. We can allow 
you know, a few deaths here and there. Let's just heal back and go back. And you know what? Come on. It's not over yet. Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Let's keep rolling. You know, every little bit helps. Okay, so another thing I want to tell you guys, because uh, a few of you actually reached out to me and, and said you, you should use... Oh, again, same mistake. Yeah, staying away from those bubbles. That's another thing you need to master. <laughs> okay, so yeah, you said use, uh, you know, could create an artificial um, crimson biome, even in the corruption world like we are in right now. To be careful here. Yeah, could create a, an artificial crimson biome, farm Icor, and craft obviously the uh, golden shower. And I thought about it. If if I had to use any other weapon except the spirit flame, I would definitely do that. And I'll tell you why I'm not using and uh, and wasting my time on on golden shower at this point. Because the gain would be very marginal, okay, so when we're fully buffed, we're close to 200 damage per hit, okay, so, and we're producing those bubbles quite often, okay, and that means that, uh, Duke, and Duke Fishron obviously has 50 defense, okay, so even with, uh, so the Golden Shower will only give you 15 extra damage in this, in this respect. Okay, but you need to switch over, so each switch, and you have to switch every few seconds, right? So each time you switch, you lose uh, two, three hits that you can you can actually uh, produce with the with the weapon, right? And so and when so you switch switch to golden shower, you you uh, you know you hit Duke Fish on, then you switch back to the uh, to your main weapon, and then you produce you can continue hitting. And this essentially what it means is that you're wasting a little bit of time, so you're producing less projectiles with your main weapon to gain, you know, five, uh, 15 extra damage per hit. But when you're dealing 200 damage per hit, that 15 is, is, is minimal, right? So, and again, it may be, there may be a little bit of an advantage, right? By the way, phase three, let me just focus here. Okay, so that was good. That was timed correctly. Now we keep going. Keep going. <laughs> this is uh, gonna be a nice dance. Okay, so got hit. That's bad. Uh, keep going. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. And guys, Duke Fishron is down. Okay, we're still pre boss. And look at this. Oh, nothing. Tsunami bow and the wings. Look at this. We got this set. Red set, right? So. Red's wings, by the way, give us a little bit of an advantage. So these are essentially the best wings you can get at this point. Oh yeah, we're gonna upgrade them. We're gonna we're gonna roll them with uh, menacing, and obviously we didn't get the weapon, any of magical weapons. Yeah, there's nothing. Okay, so we got the shrimpy um, truffle, so we could use potentially the mount for. And yeah, the yo-yo, which we don't need at this point. Uh, obviously, we're it for for a melee yo-yo playthrough. That would be interesting at this point, of course. But look at this. So this is with the harpy wings, and let's compare to the new wings, red's wings. Okay, let's see. First of all, it's a little faster and it goes higher. Yeah, you can see the difference. Of course, this gives a little bit of of a headroom for mobility. Because again, the speed is higher and you go a little bit higher overall. Okay, so yeah, I mean, we can use the armor just for vanity in this respect. But so we didn't get the weapon, of course. Any of the we we could there are, there are two good weapons that you can obtain from Duke Fisheron, but unfortunately we got nothing. Okay, so and here is the debate. At this point, I could probably dismantle this arena and use the shrimpy truffle for additional advantage uh, because then I could drop the wings, the the boots, the balloon, like all of this can be removed and added, replaced with additional uh, damage uh, increasing or you know additional accessories such as for example even a ma magnet flower at this point right so to reduce 
uh, even two accessories that reduce uh, mana uh, usage, that would be massive in terms of DPS because we, we're gulping potions and, and losing damage, right? So, but I don't want to do this because this is kind of using, you know, uh, it's too much of an advantage at this point. So let's go back to a more fair fight. Let's do the same thing we did before. The only advantage now is slightly faster wings. Okay, so let's do it because we need to keep going, right? So obviously we didn't get we didn't get too much uh, nothing from the weapon department, right? So we got. We got the Tsunami Bow, which for a Ranger would be, at this point, you know, very nice indeed. Yeah, these wings actually help a lot, right, so for mobility. But, you know, if I play like this recklessly, then nothing will help, no wings. <laughs> okay, so going back to Golden Shower, right, so again, uh, there might be a little bit of an advantage, right, but it's just not as big to bother at this point to spend time farming all the ingredients however if you were to use let's say sky fracture for this fight because then you're shooting a lot less damaging projectiles multiple projectiles right so in each projectile will get absorbed by duke's armor and you're only dealing a, a fraction of your damage then every 15 that 15 is multiplied by 3, because there are 3 projectiles per shot, and so that is already a substantial increase in your damage. So then it makes sense to switch to Golden Shower. But again, high damaging, this is the probably highest damaging, oh again, uh, kiss Duke Fishron, right, and then expect to survive. Oh my goodness, that's, that's terrible. Okay, so it, yeah, so high damaging projectiles, high damaging magic, like any weapon at this point, would probably benefit very little from the uh, golden shower buff debuff i guess okay so let's carry on and let's see what happens because this is interesting we need something from duke fisheron we need lots of stuff actually hopefully i really i really hope because and and here comes another question right so we've defeated duke fisheron already right so we we know it's doable we've just did it uh we've done it with uh, pre-boss uh, gear which is fine so it didn't took too many tries which is also great however the the question here is uh, well if we farm him eventually he will drop something that we can use and the question is do we use it because doesn't it break the progression it, it of course it does right so from from this by the way, it's phase three, I think, and I think we need to be focused now. Okay, so yeah. Oh, that's bad. That's terrible. Yeah, I don't expect to survive this one, but you know what? Let's carry on. Who knows? Yeah. No. That's close. That's too close. That's dangerously close. Come on. Keep rolling. Stay put. Oh my goodness, look at this! <laughs> so, it's a tie, I say. But no, it's not a tie, it's actually a win, because we've got the bag, right? So, can we get it though? Let's see if we can get it. Come on. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I consider it a victory, after all, because, yeah, we got the loot, and we've defeated Duke. And again, look at this, another Tsunami Bow. Like, come on, how many? Okay, you know what? Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling the dice, guys. Because we need three things potentially from him. At least two, I would say. Okay, so at least one one weapon. And, well, if we we're lucky, even the wings, but I doubt it. Uh, I doubt I have that much luck. Okay, so. And getting back to the uh, question, tough question, right? Tough choice. If you get, if we get the weapon from Duke Fisher on pre-max, do you use it actually, or does it break the game? Okay, so, and you could say, oh, well, that was close. You could say yes, it does break the game a little bit, right? So of course, having uh, a high, high hitting, high damage weapon at this point would be. But you know what? The thing is, we're playing master mode. That's one. So the difficulty is already elevated. Two. Uh, it's only gonna last us, uh, realistically, 
till Plantera, and then it's it kind of it's equalized because Duke Fishon's uh, gear is con comparable to I guess pre Golem, maybe post Golem, but Golem is is weaker in my opinion is a much weaker enemy than boss than let's say uh, Plantera, right? So so in this respect, it's just a quality of life thing. By the way, guys, phase three, phase three, let's do it, let's do it, come on. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's close. That's that's dangerously close. No, don't do it. Yeah. So, okay, done. What do you get this time? Let's check. Are you kidding me? Three tsunami in a row. Okay, guys, let's do it one more time. But this time, let's stream it. So I'm streaming this live on our Discord, and. Unfortunately, I'll have to remove the background uh, sound because obviously people are talking in the channel and uh, not everyone may want to be put on YouTube. And so I, since I don't have that permission, I'll remove this back background sound. So, okay. So keep going. This one is actually done live, like I said. And it's quite interesting because three times in a row we got nothing but tsunami, guys. Tsunami bow this is ridiculous you know um, and also again to to close the topic of uh, of uh, uh, linear or non-linear progress I think you know what if you gear up and you 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 fight a harder battle right you should kind of feel no remorse using the gear that the the difficult boss drops even though it makes you know a few bosses uh, easier to kill afterwards but overall, it's just the quality of life, I guess, at this point. Because again, we're in master mode. Bosses deal, and mobs deal a lot more damage, and so and have a lot more health. So a little bit of a boost, which probably gonna still last us till like Plantera slash Golem, will no, it doesn't hurt, right? So that boost. Otherwise, we'd be using you know linear progression, but linear progression can be boring. It's kind of, it's less of a challenge, in my opinion, it's more streamlined and for a beginner, of course, I would not recommend facing Duke Fishron right away, uh, it could be really frustrating and it takes time and it took me quite a few practice fights in the past to even understand his moves a little bit and I'm still see getting, getting noobed multiple times in, in pretty much every fight because, again, the fights are long, Duke Fishron in master mode has around 80 80,000 life that is you need to be dealing a lot of damage per second to have your chances you know increased significantly to be able to survive okay guys we are entering almost at the third phase right now and things are going to get pretty grim and dark momentarily so let's keep going and now duke is phase three okay so got hit that's unfortunate that may cost us uh, yeah, it's very close. No, I knew I would get hit here. No, actually, you know what? We're still managing. We're still... Oh, no, no, no! Look, <laughs> in an it's another tie. It's another tie. That's un unreal, guys. Like two, two ties like this in a row, pretty much. <laughs> this is messed up. Okay, 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 let's see, let's see what we got. Let's get back. Let's just let's check. Was it worth the, the all the trouble? Okay, guys. Uh, oh my goodness, Razor Blade Typhoon. Okay, guys, and Duke Wish Fish Wrong Wings. Okay, I mean that's it. Uh, what am I doing? I'm too nervous, too too excited. Okay, that's it, guys. This is. This is nuts, guys. Okay, guys, this was epic. We've got pretty much everything we wanted from Duke Fishron during this battle. This is just epic. Okay, so first of all, it is quite e quite doable, I should say, uh, be defeating Duke Fishron pre-boss in hard mode. Okay, so with with the, with the right gear, obviously, right setup, good mobility, so it's all possible. It's possible to do pre-Mac for sure. 
Uh, we got our Razor Blade Typhoon. Let's reroll it, guys. Let's get mythical as up pretty much. And see. See what we get out of it. No, this is really exciting. Of course, now it's gonna feel like we're overpowered. Oh, look at this. Mythical. So the base damage with our gear, with our setup, is 150 plus. Okay, so maybe once we roll this with... Lucky. You know what? Let's get... Try again. Lucky again. Seriously. I want... I don't want lucky. I want menacing. Maybe lucky is good too. You know what? If we get another lucky, we'll keep it. Yeah, let's keep it. But instead, you know what? Let's re-roll something else to menacing. Yeah, this one is cheap to re-roll. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's much cheaper than the wings for sure. So we can re-roll it to menacing. Yes. And we can actually re-roll something else. Oh yeah. This we can reroll. And no, this is expensive. How about this? Yeah, and then done. Okay, so let's see. So 162 base damage. That's without potions, right? So potion of magic, magical damage gives us plus 20%. So that'll be that'll be pretty good. That bring us close to almost 200. Okay, so this weapon got nerfed a little bit in my opinion because now it only shoots one projectile even though it, it, the projectile deals 50% extra damage. Okay guys, we're gonna test this weapon, this new setup with wings in the next episode. Stay tuned for more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.